I definitely prefer shopping online because even if one retailer doesn't have what I want, it's likely that another retailer is going to have it. I rarely have to worry about things being completely sold out anymore. And nothing can compare to the internet in terms of selection. I love being able to buy things from anywhere in the country or anywhere in the world. Of course, the farther away the store, the more I have to pay for shipping, which I have to admit is one drawback. It can be quite expensive sometimes. But I usually get a really good price because I'm able to compare prices so easily online. Some websites even do it for you. Basically, it's a great way to shop except for having to wait for delivery. That can be unpredictable, which bothers me since I'm… I'm kind of an impatient person, I guess. 2. Anna When it comes to shopping for clothes, I'm not an online shopper. I really need to try clothes on before I buy them to make sure they fit right. I've had some bad experiences buying clothes online and, in some cases, ended up having to return them. And I really appreciate the personal touch of attentive sales staff that you get in a store. Some have a lot of experience and can be really helpful. Of course, not everything about shopping in stores is perfect. For example, some of the stores I like can get incredibly crowded during big sales, which is really annoying. And when a store doesn't have what I need, I have to go somewhere else, which wastes a lot of time. That said, I still prefer shopping in stores because a shopping trip is usually social for me, a way to go out with friends and have fun. Listen again. Write two negative aspects they mention in the chart. Shopping preferences. Listen to Ben and Anna talk about shopping online and in stores. Choose their preference and write three positive aspects they mention about it. 1. 